Russian soldiers are running them into the battle zone with critical armor protection backed with adequate fire support. Given your project is the LIMP, or Light Armored High Mobility Vehicle. It is a recon vehicle moving ahead of the armored columns. Commodore's defense through the Kestra and the LIMP provides the Indian armored forces with one class indigenously developed frontline protocol mobility. What we see here is the Kongsberg uh, remote uh, turret on the Tata vehicle. Uh, we have a remote uh, 30 mm turret in the bottom, and on top of that, we have a Kongsberg protector remote uh, weapon station. Um, both systems are operated remotely from a control panel looking like this. You have the fire control uh, unit here, you have, remote, you have the uh, Control here, operating the system. Um, the main weapon, the 30 millimeter cannon, is uh, is uh, fully stabilized. It has uh, linkless ammunition feed. You can uh, feed from both the right and left side. And uh, the linkless ammunition system gives you the ability to reload the system at any time. And the reload can be done from under armor, and you can also reload the system uh, from the outside. If you take a closer look, I can. Uh, Show you a little bit how the uh, remote weapon station on top is operated. In this particular configuration, we have a day camera and also a laser range finder. And this configuration also has one Gavlin missile on the side, which is also launched from the same uh, fire control unit. Kongsberg is the leading uh, supplier of remote weapon stations. Uh, this is our first time uh, exhibiting in uh, India, so we are very pleased to be together with Tata Motors on their new amphibious vehicle. So, looking forward to see what uh, what we might uh, get in India. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Kestrel is an 8x8 wheeled armored amphibious vehicle. This is a joint project development with the BRD, DIO, and Tata Motors. This is the first of its kind indigenous vehicle developed in India and uh, we have developed this vehicle from the design to about first prototype what you are seeing here about record 17 months of time and uh, whole vehicle is like upgradable, scalable and modular we have already worked out about six platforms of the same vehicle like the uh, ambulance, uh, motor carrier, missile carrier, EMC vehicle, the Ricky vehicle and similarly the whole vehicle has uh, upgradable armoring so it can go from Stanag 1 to Stanag 2 uh, in just short period of time. At the same time, this has an integrated power pack so which can be taken out completely for the overhauling and servicing in about half an hour time. It has 8x8 independent suspension, uh, the electrical and electronic what we are having in the upper architecture disc and also the whatever you see the firepower. Right now we are using it from the Cosmos is also the modular. So you can use a two main red we can use a remote control weapon station and it is modular design. What you see behind us in the LAMP, that is light armored multi-purpose vehicle. Again, this is a light type of combat vehicle. And uh, I have with me uh, Mr. Agarwal, who will talk a little bit more about this vehicle, uh, who is also the chief engineer of this program. Light armored multi-purpose vehicle is designed in-house with a power pack designed by Tata Motors, independent suspension, this vehicle was having a target of the range, GV2. So we had to work upon the aluminium, design of axles, the springs, and all have to be given the optimized weight. It's a composite pod which is there, armored hull which is at the bottom, and well integrated to give an optimum design, the optimum weight 